Welcome back to the channel, Survivors. Today, we're going to be diving into the brand new LEGO Fortnite Survival game. I've been having a blast playing this one for the past couple of days of its official release. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys some must-know tips and tricks that everybody needs to know when diving into the game. Alrighty, so diving into tip number one, and that relates to building your village and finding a nice spot to build your home base. I can tell you right off the bat, a really good option is to build your base closer to multiple biomes. In this game, you have three different main biomes you have the grasslands the desert and then the snowy area you're going to need resources from all three of these as you progress throughout the game and in order for you to upgrade your village you're going to have to go to these individual biomes collect those resources and bring them back so it's better to build your base closer or as close as you can to multiple biomes as it will reduce the amount of traveling time wasted to go to each one to farm the resources and now speaking of villages that brings us to tip number two and that relates to in NPCs. When you start off in the game, you'll get your single NPC, but as you naturally upgrade your village, more NPCs will come to visit you. All you have to do is build a bed, and as long as there is a vacant bed not claimed by any players, you can offer that villager to stay essentially at your village. I want to tell you right off the bat, do not neglect these NPCs. They can help you do a lot of different things. One, they can you can put them on tasks where they'll gather resources or refine the resources you already have at your base, or you can even and ask them to be your companion and follow you throughout your exploration. They can obviously defend you and fight for you if you need them to, and also they can help you gather specific resources. This makes a massive difference in your overall gameplay, especially if you were playing solo and not with an entire party. So definitely do not neglect your NPCs. One little side tip here, keep in mind that the tools that they have by default will over time eventually break because they do have durability just like your tools do. So you might need to talk to them from time to time and make sure you don't need to give them another set of tools. And now for tip number three that also relates here to tools in the game, don't be afraid to experiment with utilizing the different tools on various resources or different mobs throughout the open world, as different tools actually perform better for certain functions. So to give you some examples here, using a sword against a bush will one shot break down that bush instead of utilizing some of your other tools you have. The same thing goes with utilizing a pickaxe against the roller enemies if you utilize a pickaxe it actually does more damage a lot of times than something like a sword does so really don't be afraid to experiment here as you might find a tool does something better than another one and speaking on experimenting with different tools to utilize on resources and mobs in the open world something else you need to take into consideration when it comes to these rollers specifically if you guys happen to actually utilize a shield against the rollers it will knock the rollers over on their back which does allow you to do additional damage to the the roller enemy keep this in mind when you are going up against enemies that you might not have encountered before trying different combinations of different types of weapons might actually give you a additional advantage on top of just doing additional damage and speaking of advantages one really cool advantage that i discovered is actually utilizing the water inside of the game against enemies if you have something like a roller chasing you for instance you can actually jump into the water and if that roller happens to touch the water at all it will instantly kill them and still drop their resources so because you need to collect a lot of these shells and these rollers sometimes can be a nightmare to deal with you can absolutely utilize this tactic to your advantage it's a little bit cheeky it might be patched sometime in the future but as of right now you can definitely utilize it to your advantage Alrighty, so then moving on to the next tip and that actually brings us to the crafting bench and charms charms are very very important in the game and i cannot stress this enough you do not want to neglect the charms charms have different rare everything from your standard common all the way up and some of the charms not only offer additional hearts and defense but they also offer different environmental advantages like for instance there might be one for better or more cold resistance allowing you to stay longer in the colder biome or something like one that will cool you down allowing you to stay in something like the heated up desert a lot longer to farm out additional resources these can make a massive difference in your overall survivability so make sure you do not neglect them and craft the higher tier as soon as you possibly can and keep them on you at all times and now moving on to the next one this one's a fun little exploit that we discovered again at the time of recording this video this one could be patched in the future but as of right now if you ever find yourself solo in the game you can only do this by yourself if you are playing with other friends you might have to ask them to leave the server but either way if you guys ever want to skip the night cycle because there's no way to actually sleep in the game to skip to you know daytime what you can actually 
basically do is if you're solo in the game log out of the game back to the lobby screen log back in it takes about approximately 20 to 40 seconds to do but once you log back in it'll actually reset the the night cycle back to day with no weather or precipitation so again it's a nifty little trick here you can utilize to your advantage but it might not be intended and it could be patched here in the near future so take advantage and utilize it while you can so now moving on to the next tip and that relates us back to villages and leveling them up obviously everybody wants to level their village as fast as possible by doing so will not only increase the power of your npcs but also give you additional blueprints and allow you to unlock more things to craft well one of the fastest ways to level up your village is actually not prefabs and not building structures instead it's actually related to the utility crafting benches by utilizing specifically the lumber mill and the grills if you craft a bunch of these and place them down you'll have no problem skyrocketing the level of your village and now last but not least tip i have for you guys today relates to animals and the resources that they provide obviously you can walk up to them and pet them and they will give you a specific resource or you can simply kill them and they will give you meat in addition to their resource well there's actually a really nifty way to get additional resources from those animals if you actually drop vines which is a material you gather from destroying bushes in the game it will actually net you additional resources by dropping them on the ground near one of those animals and allowing those animals to feed on those vines according to how many vines you drop whether it's a max stack of 30 or a single vine it will actually allow that animal to produce a lot more of that specific resource take this example for instance with a chicken by giving this chicken a full stack of vines it produced a bunch more eggs compared to a single egg that you get when petting them and with that being said guys that's going to wrap up our video for today if you liked and enjoyed the content don't forget to like comment and subscribe here on the channel and with that being said as always guys i'll see you on the next one